Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to episode 16 of PGR4 Platinum Playthrough. And we are nearly to the top of the Masters in the driving standings. We've got uh, 60 points to go. And Calvin Barnes, I think, was in the last, um, last championship we did and the two above us were not. So, to start off the episode, we've got a championship. But... Um, we have already done this one in the C-Class, North American Masters Trophy. And even though this um, championship is only five points, well, five points less than that one, only 35 points, um, we haven't done this one. I'm pretty sure. Eliminator Coast Sprint Speed Challenge Street Race. I don't think we have done that. Because um, I don't remember a cone sprint. So I think we're going to do this one in the B class. Uh, a little bit different. And need to think of what we haven't used actually. Uh, the MC12, we haven't used that. Supercar. Just supercar. Yeah, because we're um because we're very close to the top, I can get away with using or going in the lower championship strip super series. Hmm. I don't really know what to use because of that. Why is it gone? Because of the speed challenge, that throws it off slightly. Eliminate the cone sprint street race. Oh, I suppose we'll use the uh, Maserati. It's pretty similar to the um, Enzo, isn't it? So we'll use that. And there's only one colour, of course. The um, classic white and blue. Right, so Eliminator to start things off with. JP1 and the Radical at the top there. And another and two Maseratis. That's interesting. I don't think we've even seen those uh, Radicals before in a race. Could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing them. And, um, yeah, have to get out of last place pretty sharpish. We do manage to do. And I'm sure it's a track we've done on PGR3. But uh, we haven't been in Las Vegas much at all in this PGR. And uh, being a bit aggressive to start off with, but... To be fair, those JP... Uh, the JP and the Radical would have been alright here. It's just on the straight they're going to suffer. And then the speed challenge. But of course, they're not actually going to be in the speed challenge. It's just going to be a predetermined time. Or speed, sorry, shall I say. And I do remember this exact track. I believe I used the... What did I use? Shelby Cobra? Something? GT500? Maybe? Oh, crap. Oh, that wasn't very good. But yeah, definitely done this one on PGR3. But um, at least we haven't done it yet on this one. God, I'm taking these corners awfully. It's quite nice to drive this, though. Maserati. Just need to um, do a bit better with the braking and timing it a bit better. But it seems to be going all right now. this bit. That's actually quite hard to judge, but that was alright. Puts the power down. Lovely. Absolutely no drama. No skidding, no drama. It's funny, actually, that um, we could have done a C-Class event in the, um, the Masters Championship, which we haven't done too many of C-Class, and um, the one we haven't done in the Hot shot category was actually a B class. So, again, we're doing A and B class mainly. I think I've probably used nearly every car in the B class. Not far off, because there isn't that many. There's quite a few more in the A class. I always forget about that corner. But I actually drive in alright at the moment. It's, um, we've done loads of laps of this. Still two more to get eliminated. I'm guessing it's every 30 seconds still. I 
because that would make sense. And we've pretty much only got the kudos from the eliminations, surviving the elimi eliminations. So we haven't got the most kudos, really. Nah, I could have left it in third, really. Nearly there. Nearly there. Just uh, the one car to go. And uh, I should have actually looked who was in this championship. Oh, of course, um, it won't be any of the, the names that are recognised because we're not in the Masters. Uh, they do compete at the same time. So if you do a hotshot championship like we're doing now, the Masters championships still go on. So someone is going to earn 40 points when we earn 35, or if we earn 35. So we'll uh, lose out on 5 points to someone. But um, I'm hoping we can still get there in the end. And uh, quite a nice amount of kudos in that. Not too bad. And there's only 4 events, so it does make it a little bit shorter, which is good. Right, I think this will be a nice little car for the uh, cone sprint. And you can see all the driver positions there. That's uh, Olivier Kalia in 28th. It's the highest position on the leaderboard. But um, 3.17, that's actually quite a long cone sprint. But this car should be pretty good for it. It's quite, uh, it feels fairly nimble actually. Struggles off the line, as the Enzo does as well. But um, should have quite a bit of control. does have the uh, classic understeer. But, oh my god. Well, I can't even get through there without hitting the cone. <laughs> yeah, that's um, not good. I have to say, I've never done that before. Where we did basically a wheelie in the car. And uh, completely, yeah. Completely stopped us turning. Jump into the cones, then get trapped in the cones, so you have no choice but to ram through some other cones. <laughs> I have to remember where that is now. Right, it's coming up here, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, that's better. Ooh, down that corridor. And another corridor. Oh, this is going to be one of these ones, isn't it? Just guessing where you're going. No. Somehow managed to keep the combo going, even though we don't really care about that, but... Whoa, that's very confusing. Some of these are very challenging, these cone sprints. I mean, they're nowhere near the level of the actual cone challenges that we've had on... PGR 2 and 3. Which really, by themselves, increases the level of difficulty in the whole game massively. But this is easier than PGR... Well, I feel like the, the game itself is probably easier than PGR 3. But the cone challenges in PGR 3 make that a little bit harder. So it's hard to say, really. No, having said that, having said that, the, the races in this, the normal races, are probably, probably about the same, but then I feel like the timed runs and speed challenges and that sort of stuff are much harder in this one. And then obviously you've got your, your cone challenges in PGR 3, which make it a lot harder. Because even though these are technically quite hard as long as you don't hit a cone it's not too bad which one they did then and I did the same thing and lost that combo and I didn't see if we were even in first you know oh god I forgot about that again second lap running this has been far from the cleanest but um, a bit of lag there I 
I can never remember what the hell is going on with the cones. It's too much of the trap. The Radical and the, um, the JP1 would have been good in this, actually. That's quite hard, but I mean, smashed it still. Uh, 20 seconds? 20 seconds ahead with no penalties. I only think I've only lost one of these, or come second, should I say. Uh, and it was in the Subaru, right near the start. And I didn't get any penalties then, but that seemed impossible to beat, really. Uh, but the JP1 apparently comes second, Radical comes third. And we've got a little bit of a cushion, not too bad. I'm already halfway through this uh, championship, which is good. And, of course, we got the speed challenge, which will be the hardest thing. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be the same speed challenge we did in the Mercedes CLK something or other in the C-Class. Or was it D-Class? Could well have been D-Class, actually. And I think it may be the same, actually. That was awful. Sixth place. It is the same speed challenge, definitely, but it's not the same championship. Definitely not. Well, that puts us up to second. And if I remember, the next two might be on the straight, but there is a little slalom, chicane weird bit. And I probably won't break. I don't think we're going to do this. In fact, no, we get second place. That's going to have to do. Pretty close. Again, with the speed challenges, you have no idea if you're first or second until you cross the line and then you can't restart, as we're well aware. So, just, uh, was that about one mile an hour off the, uh, the top? Yeah, 1.3. So, if I'd have done that um, first speed trap better, we would have been okay there. But that just shows this is a load of crap because that radical SR3 would have been going fairly slow across that final speed camera so is what it is second place i like the way the music changes as well if you're if you're not in first you get slightly i don't know how to explain it really like not as upbeat finishing music just to rub salt in the wounds um but at least we're still nine thousand heads so we've got the last um i think it may be a street race i'll have to see And it is a street race, and it's on the Boulevard Tour, I think it said. And it seemed like quite a big track. So uh, two laps of this should be interesting. It's basically the entire of Las Vegas, I think. Or well, the game. The game's Las Vegas, anyway. Oh, Christ. Oh, that biker just actually died. He went face first into that sideways rough. That is actually funny. Poor chap. Poor lady. I've never seen that before. I've never seen the AI spin out straight at the start. These, um... These go-kart cars are so quick around the tight corners. But as soon as we get on the straight, we should hopefully... Catch it up. This corner always fools me. It's a lot tighter than you think. And uh, this car's so annoying, this one in front. It's just got a little bit of better acceleration low down, but then... And this is why it would have not won the speed challenge, because it's just not got the top end at all. But uh, this is going to be a long lap, I have a feeling. That is when I'm going to crash everywhere as well. Haven't been on uh, Las Vegas much in this playthrough, so it's quite nice. I feel like um, it, there's been everything there is to see, though, so far in the 
the Gotham career because it just kind of replays it. Uh, you've got the same championships. It's kind of annoying you have to just stick to the best ones if you want to get to the top quickly. But yeah, there's a big element of it repeating itself. So it's very repetitive play. So it'd be good to get onto the arcade mode because at least it's a little bit different going back to the um, classic style meddling system. Rather than this. I kind of like what they did. It's something different, but... Yeah, it's just a bit too repetitive for me. I wouldn't... It's not got that replayability, I don't think, that the other PGRs have got. I'm trying to go back for those platinum medals. And uh, two and a half minute lap already. No idea where the finish is going to be. Ah, it's only around here. It's not too bad. Oh, God. The amount of time to do that. Ah, at least I'm quite far ahead. Three minute lap. And it's got to be one of the longest laps we've done so far that isn't the Nürburgring. But um, I'm hoping after this that uh, Calvin Barnes hasn't got any more points because I don't think he competes in uh, this current selection of championships, but the other two will have. So... Um, I've got to rely on them not finishing in first. But obviously, the next championship that comes up, if we haven't done it already in the, um, the Masters category, I can do that. I haven't used the Ultimate Arrow yet, which is probably the last car I want to use. And like I said, all the B class are pretty much used. I've used a few of the C class. But um, it really skips out of the F, E and D class really early on. Barely used any cars in that, uh, not really. In fact, I'm not even sure I've used any E class cars. Maybe one, one event or one championship. But if you win all the low down ones, you shoot up to master in a matter of, well, be a few hours to be honest but still you don't really use the other classes too much which is a bit of a shame I think you stay a little bit too long in the masters category they probably could have spaced out a bit more absolutely miles ahead of these guys now this is just like a casual drive around Las Vegas. I'm not complaining. I do like this section. I think that section is my favourite. The nice rolling bumps and corner there. Quite a nice corner. But, um, yeah, in the arcade mode, I can't remember how many chapters there are, but um, you can do them in a car or in a bike, and you get a separate medal for either. So there's a chance to do the arcade mode twice, really. Depends if you guys want to see that. Um... Because I do want to use the cars, if I'm honest. But I will do the bike ones as well, if people want to see that. But it doesn't mean doing the same the same events, trying to get platinum again, just on a bike. So it would be an added challenge, I think. And I think there's one set of events in the arcade mode that you have to use a car. And there's one that's locked to a bike as well. But all the other ones... I think there may be ten chapters... So there's one chapter locked to a car, so you have to use a car. One chapter locked to a bike. And then I think there may be like eight chapters where you can use both. 
And then there's a medal for bike and car. So, yeah, I mean, it'll add more, more to the playthrough if you want to see both, but it's not necessary. So let me know if you want to see both of them. I'll show you when we get to the arcade mode what I mean if you haven't seen it before. Oops. Uh, is the finish just down here? Yes, it is. Terrible last corner. I think I can just see the uh, person second. He wasn't actually that far behind in the end. And uh, yeah, first place. This car's pretty good in the B class, it seems. Much like the Enzo, quite OP. And obviously there was two other uh, Maseratis in that one. And uh, lots of lovely kudos for us. But I think the next thing we've got to do is an Invitational. And I'm really hoping it's the FXX the Ferrari. Because uh, I haven't seen that pop up yet. And I'd really like to use that. But 35 points, not 40 this time. So we'll see um, if that actually does anything for us. And see what the other guys got above us. It's the main thing. Right, so I don't think we've won that before. Strip Super Series. Pretty sure we do pop up to third place. Only a point above uh, Andreas. And this Jas... Oh, I can't remember how you say it now. Uh, it's going to test me. Jasek. Jasek? Jakek. Yakek. I've, I was told by Jerek it's pronounced Yakek. I think. Or something like that. I probably still butchered that. Um, but yeah, 30 points. 29? 29 points. Definitely got closer, but he definitely got some points. And Calvin Barnes stayed the same. So nearly there. Very nearly there. Lots of kudos. And I'm hoping this is the Ferrari. It's not. It is this uh, motorbike that I failed on last time. Perhaps you need to do all the other invitationals before you get the Ferrari one. Um, F4 Senna. What did we have to do for this? I definitely failed this last time. Oh, it's the wheelie challenge. I'll try not to disappoint this time. Right, let's go for this one. This was hard, I remember. Let's just go wheelie straight away. See what happens. Alright, that's probably not the best idea, actually. Let's get some speed first. I actually suck at doing this. Maybe... I didn't know you could fall off the back. Oh. I genuinely had no idea you could fall off the back of that. So you have to balance the stick. Right, so we'll get going first. Change to second. Right, and then just... I'm going to leave it in second because there's no... Oh, what the hell? Oh, I've got the 200. That's all right. Right, there's another 200. Right, so now where can we do it? Here? Get up. That's not 200, is it? Unless I can do it before you the wall. Yes. No, it's wasted. <laughs> right, I've got to keep an eye on that time. Yep. This is hard. I cannot do this at all. Right, so you can do it twice on this first straight. This is harder than anything I've done so far in the game. Right, that's 200. Right, I'll go again. I think sticking it in seconds is the best because you have a little bit, bit more control of it. Right, that's... No, yeah, that's really hard down there. Right, I have to do it here, I think. Oh, God, this is testing me big time. Right, and I reckon around here. No, nope. I have no idea where to do this. This is genuinely the hardest thing I've done in the game so far. Invitationals are meant to be fairly easy, but I just cannot do this. Right, 200. This bit's all right. I'm okay with this bit. All 
Like 200. Now what do you do here? Like... I'm going to creep round here. Nice and slow, like... 200. Right, come on. This is it. Don't ruin it. Gonna ruin it. Oh, yeah. That is how you do it. That is hard. How do you do, um... How do you do gestures? Is it B? I thought it was B. Oh, no, that's, um, handbrake, isn't it? What's... That's change view. Ah, that's what it is. Right, I don't know what I was doing there. I was tapping all the buttons. I managed to change up to sixth gear. Obviously, B's change up gear. Why did I think that was, um, what do you call it? Taunt, I think, is the, the wording for it. But we finally did that one. I actually won it this time because I remembered to restart it. So we finally got that bike. There we go. <clears throat> I think uh, there's one more bike one to do that I failed last time. Uh, four championships. Right. Canada Red Line Masters. Quebec Hotshot Heroes. That's in C. Canada Red Line Masters. Have we done this one? Oh, there's six stages again. Our oh, race grid. You can see who's in it. I never knew that, you know. That is uh, interesting. And no one who is above us is in that. Yeah, it says their position's there. I'm just going to have a quick look at the uh, driver standings. How many points do we need? 29. So we can go first if we win. We could actually do that one. We've done New York already, though. <clears throat> What's that? D class. C class. Time versus kudos. Time run. Cone sprint. Time versus kudos. I don't really like the idea of that. Just because of all those time versus kudos. <clears throat> Street race. Hot lap. Breakthrough. Speed challenge. Have we done this one? I really have no idea. Canada red line. That does ring a bell. Quebec hot shots. Oh, screw it. We'll do this one. C-class. Um, we can afford to. And... Thinking of what we haven't actually used, to be honest. TBR, we haven't used that. TBR Typhon. I don't know what's going to be good for this. Oh, I keep going on the wrong one. Time versus Kudos. Timed run. Cone sprint. Um... We haven't used the F430. But is it going to be drifty enough? I think maybe the Z06 might be alright. I think we'll try this one out. Haven't used this so far. And... Um, let's go in that brownie colour. It looks quite nice in yellow as well. Right, time versus kudos. I am not particularly good at these. However, we have got a slidey car this time. And immediately, burnout. That should help us out. And I think this car is pretty quick, really. What we need, anyway. And it slides so easily. And that was alright. I mean, I did go briefly facing the wrong way. But we'll let that go. You can actually just slide down the street. Which is interesting. This is like, if anything, it's a bit too slidey. We're getting loads of kudos. I'll probably hit the max before I uh, reach the finish. Some of these events are very difficult to uh, talk and drive, so I apologise if I pause for long periods of time. 
It's going alright so far, though. Lots of sliding involved. Does slide. It's a good slider. Oh, crud. That wasn't ideal, though. First time I hit the wall, though. Ah, oh, we're five seconds ahead anyway. This is absolutely doing the business. Pure American horsepower for the win. They may not be the best at going quickly around corners, American cars, but they certainly go around like this if you want them to. Don't know how much horsepower this car has. That is uh, one thing, but it's all going to the rear wheels. I'd imagine it's something like 500 and something, maybe. Oops. And that was uh, quite comfortable, to be honest. I don't know what the max kudos was for that, but we uh, won by a few seconds. Dun, 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 dun. What are we... Yeah, eight seconds in a bit. Well, nearly nine seconds, actually. Um, only four stages. What? That's why I like these um, hotshot ones instead. And Deepak, I remember him. Anad. Deepak Anad. No idea where that name's from, but we'll move on to the next one. Okay, time to run, so I have to drive well this time. No slidey, just quick. 3.42. That's a long race. Is that one lap? No, it's two laps, I was going to say. And I know this track anyway, so... I don't think we've had any new tracks this episode. We may have covered all the tracks. I'm trying to think what, where we haven't really been so far. Get off the wall. Um, Quebec, New York... Las Vegas. Yeah, we've been there quite a lot. Then there's London. Crap. I'm actually behind. This is a shocking drive so far. London, Nürburgring, St. Petersburg. We've been in that quite a bit. And then Shanghai, Tokyo. I think Tokyo is probably the one we've been in the least. Actually. Right, shut up, strippers. Let's concentrate on driving. I'm going to be far behind here. Two seconds. Come on, I can make that back. Can I actually make that back, though? I don't know. I'd like to think so. I'd prefer the Rossian if we were going to try and make the time back, though. At least I can try and close it a little bit. Oh, God. Not like that, though. Oh, then oversteering. Oh my god, we've gone down more. 2.9. I think, um, yeah. I'm not driving so quickly. And I keep doing that. Why do I keep hitting the inside? Oh, this is going awfully. Right, I'll see where I am at the next split, and if it's miles behind, then. It is so slidey, this car. I mean, it was so good for the time versus kudos, but... 2.53. 3. No, I'm just going to restart. <laughs> I'm driving so badly, I couldn't even get my words out for a simple number. Right. Let's not do that again. Straight away. Oh, just... Why? Right, come on. Stop being silly. This shouldn't be this hard. 
breaking far too late. Right, and I'm actually off that wall this time. Because uh, I slowed down loads then, and I also hit the wall on this bit. Right, this is better. Actually in front this time. That's much better. Break early. And fast out. Slow in, fast out. Although we did lose some time through there. Still doing all right. Still oversteers like absolute hell, this car, though. Oh, no. We might not be first. Jeez. This is hard. This is very difficult. I might have to sell for a second place or something on this one. Especially up this section. With the, the lack of grip. And the brakes aren't brilliant. And just in general, it's just a slippery beast. If we're being honest. Right, 0.9 of a second. But right, no drama up there this time. Still trying to oversteer though. With the smallest steering input. Right. Back to first. Bloody hell. Two wheel understeer. Not a good combination. We've driven this exact circuit quite a few times now. Right, that's the best we've taken that. Only a second ahead though. That's the best we've taken that. Surprised that wasn't any sort of uh, cut corner bonus then. Barely any kudos so far. Jeez. Right, actually two seconds ahead there. Oversteer. Oversteer city. Population. Corvette Z06. A brown one, to be precise. No idea where I chose this colour. That bronze, isn't it, really? Right, that was better. Still trying to oversteer, even in third gear. Nine seconds behind? I'm sorry, what? That's definitely a glitch. Surely. How have we gone from being in the lead to nine seconds behind? Unless someone just whacked out a nitrous canister or something. Please tell me how that happened. Oh, I didn't crash. In fact, yeah, we're miles behind. That's nonsense. No way. No, something's broke with the game there. There's no way. What, what position did I finish then? I am intrigued. No way. Absolutely no way. So, first place got 3 minutes 47. And third place got 4 minutes 8. How does that even work? If I did that all day, I would never be 8 seconds quicker around that. Absolutely bonkers. That didn't make any sense, but we'll take a second place. Very interesting. And at least he came third last time. Or maybe even lower down. We'll see. Now we're still in first. That's alright. That was really weird. There's a couple weird events like that. Where it seems impossible to beat.
Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. We went past one split. It said, okay, you're one, maybe two seconds ahead. Happy days. Literally, like a couple miles down the road at the next split, nine seconds behind. No crashing. Absolute bollocks. Made no sense. You've witnessed it firsthand. Cheating game. Oh, you bugger. You little green bugger. To be fair, if I don't hit another one, we might still win. That's a big if, though. Because these are very close together. Oh, my goody God. Oh, this is giving me anxiety. Of the thumb. Has anyone ever had thumb anxiety before? Because that is literally a thing I've just made up. Oh, we're on the second lap. Break. Break. It's a really fun car to drive, to be honest. And uh, the modelling of this is so much better than in PGR2. It was questionable in PGR2. But uh, this car looks a lot more like the real thing. I hope I didn't get another penalty for hitting that cone. You have to go slow around there. Unless you want to eat some seconds. Oh, crud. That's the first time I've hit two cones, I think, in a cone challenge. Are we going to lose? No. Finish first. Oh, no, we didn't. Shite. Have we finished second? Oh, dear. <laughs> yep. I think we were quite far off first, actually, with those two penalties. Oh, no. One second. Okay, we have to finish first in this next one, whatever it is. That D-pack, he's always been a thorn in my side. We have to actually take him out, hopefully, and get loads of kudos. This is not looking good. Um, I mean, we only, I think we get 32 for second place. Not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Right, it is a time versus kudos. I probably should have seen who came first there. Uh, so hopefully we get nice kudos from doing this. Burnout kudos always helps. Because we need to finish first and we need a lot of in-game kudos as well to add to it. And uh, I'm not even going to attempt it down the straight. I'll do it on this because this is a little bit of a corner. Well, somehow held that. Ooh. I haven't been around here in ages in this. Come on then. We've got to beat him. That was awful. It didn't slide then. I'll have to make up on the straight. Just drift up the hill because that's not possible in many cars. You can actually do this so easily. Oh, Ethan's second. Apparently, but that usually doesn't mean anything because it usually lies. This game likes to lie to you. Why does it do it? So much lying. Right, I've no idea how we're doing. a minute left. I'm not sure how many kudos you can get. Hopefully it's more than 4,000. 
Oopsie. Oh, yes, it is. More than 4,000. It's a big lap, I have to say. And uh, if that is right, we are 12 seconds ahead. Which I don't believe it. I've lost trust in the game. That was the weirdest slide ever. Oh. Somehow kept that. I think we may have max kudos now. Yep. I may have screwed this. Uh, depends where the finish is. Now I've just got to absolutely sprint to the finish. Oops. I think I may have screwed it. Unless that's the finish there. Oh, that is the finish, isn't it? I thought the finish was red for some reason. Why is it blue all of a sudden? It's because that's not the finish. That's why. Yep, I've screwed this. Oh my god, it's miles away. Right, I'm going to have to do that again. That is interesting. This seems really hard. Right, I guess I need to stop drifting on the spot then. And actually drive fairly quickly. That is actually hard. That is really difficult. So stop drifting on the spot and earning kudos. We've just got to absolutely nail it. Because uh, we lose the kudos too easily there. So I'll only do it on corners now. Damn, that was a lot of time wasted. There was so many nice drifts in there as well. Still, I actually quite like these events. I think they're one of my favourite. Ever since they added them in PGR3, I have quite enjoyed them. Got to get a move on this time, though. That nearly went very wrong. I feel like we've used um, a lot of time already, though. I should have done the A-class one, shouldn't I? I'm trying to do different ones. But I know the time versus kudos are always a bit hairy. At least that was quite nice. Maybe if I get close enough to the finish, I can start drifting a bit more. Oh dear. Right, just going to have to gun it round here. We're still miles off the finish. That is the thing I'm worried about. But I think that was a lot quicker. Plus, we've... Oh, I don't know, actually. It all depends whether that Ethan is actually second or not. We've only got a thousand left to save now. Yeah, it's not looking good. If that is the case, these have been some incredibly unfair events. I mean, it's going to be very close, isn't it? Oh, you are kidding me. Right at the end, it wasn't going to do it anyway, because I'm... I could not have done that much better other than not crashing then. I'm just going to have to finish. No idea how that's even possible. Couldn't tell you. That just... 
13 seconds difference. Without crashing, that wouldn't have done it. Second place again. What the hell's going on in these latest ones? It better not be that like D-Pack guy. It wasn't. Something's going on here. In, in these last two events, there's been one person that's been absolutely miles ahead. Like, because third, fourth, fifth, they're all like a few seconds with each other. And then like first place, bam, like 15 seconds ahead. I think they've frigged it. I think there's some code in there to stop you uh, winning them all. Feels like it. But luckily, that D-pack came somewhere else, so we jumped above him. But that was very lucky. Um, but at least we get the f uh, all the tour points, 35. So hopefully, maybe we should go up to uh, first place. We'll see. We shall see. Hey, there we go. I can't even remember this uh, cutscene. But it definitely signifies we've gone to the top. And... Uh, yeah. All flags being waved. Everyone shouting your name. Is that all you get? And yes, we are top by six points. And then you press next and then you go continue. And then that is it. There's uh, nothing else in the main campaign. Um, One thing I haven't shown is garages. Well, I don't really understand these. If I'm perfectly honest, I think you can move stuff around the garages. Um, yeah, you change vehicles, but I'm not really sure. Ah, can you see what cars you've got? Or is it only the ones you own you can change it to? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, not really sure the purpose of this. You've got like four garages and then you can just change the cars that you put in them. So I don't really understand that, to be honest. But I might as well see quickly. Um, I'll go through the arcade mode in a second. Right, so we've got 377,000 kudos. We'll go through and we'll look at the pack. So there's two bike packs there. Uh, track pack, which I'm not bothered about. Uh... Honda, so that's just the N NSXR bikes, sports coupe, which we haven't bought. The Audi R8, I'm surprised we haven't bought that one. Aston Martin, tracks we're not bothered about, American Muscle, so there is actually a few. 3D glasses cheat, whatever that means. Uh, helmet pack, I don't know why you'd pick that. Italian classics, Bulldog race mode, uh, BMW pack, and then, yeah. So I'll just um, let me just buy some of these. So we'll leave the bike packs for uh, later on. Let's just get all the cars bought. Um, sports coupe. Right, that's them. Buy them. Aston Martin. And I'm surprised we haven't used Aston Martin actually. Racing tracks, American Muscle. And these are all lower classes, which is why we never really looked at these. Uh, but there's some fairly good ones in there. Italian Classics. Again, E-Class, F-Class. 250 GTO. That's 365. That's actually really good in the uh, E-Class as well. So I'll buy that. BMW. Again, that's probably the only car we haven't used in the C-Class, the M1 Pro car. We'll buy that. Get a bike as well. Best of British, which is the first pack you get, which you're just never going to use any of them, really. So that's all the car ones, bar one, I think. I think it may be in the NSX one. Yeah. So we still got a fair bit to go. But you can't see all, your, all of your cars in the list, which is kind of what I wanted to see. You can't just, like, pick cars. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. But let's have a look at the arcade mode. So... There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 challenges and you have to have a certain amount of medals to unlock uh, some of the later ones. Like this one, for example, 12. And then you can see, chapter 1, catch me if you can. 
uh, there's six medals for a car and six medals for a bike. So if you go into it, it's F class on both and it shows you all the races. And then you click on a race and then you pick a car or a bike and then you get the medals for that specific one. So uh, at least it's in F class. That's something different. But there's one thing I might do off camera because I'd like to get that um, Ferrari unlocked, the FXX, but um, it doesn't seem like we have uh, we need to do more invitationals to do it. So I could either skip through them or just do them because we're going to drop down the rankings if I skip through. I might just do some more events off camera, get a few more kudos, and then... Um, then we should have, I think there's another bike, because there's a turbine super bike I didn't win, and also the Ferrari FX, FXX, which I can never say for some reason. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So in the next episode, we'll attack the arcade mode for some platinum medals. So I hope you enjoyed, as always, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.